hi friends welcome to my youtube channel uh, so friends today i am going to discuss about smpp short message pair to pair protocol uh, why this short message pair to pair protocol is required i am going to give an overview of, uh, of this in this video so so basically uh, you have uh, seen there are multiple applications are there uh, where you can send sms to mobile applications from your uh, application server so there are various kinds of integration you may have done like you have done http integration where you have uh, just put some text over http and you found that uh, the text is delivered as sms to the mobile number you have uh, provided so <clears throat> smpp is uh, used for these kind of applications only where end user can integrate uh, their application with the smsc and smsc can say, deliver the message to the uh, to the uh, mobile number so uh, here it's a simple uh, diagram where smpp client is there it's like any other uh, udp client or any other uh, application client where smpp client can uh, register with the smpp server and that smpp server is nothing but an sms gateway uh, is connected to sms gateway and via smsc it can send the message to the mobile number so <coughs> So the basic use of the SMPP is uh, integrating with the SMSC for delivering bulk SMS. So as a uh, service provider, SMS service provider, you need to have the knowledge. Uh, you have to know the SMPP client application. You have to build an SMPP client application which will be registering with the SMPP server. And after registering, you will be able to uh, deliver the SMS uh, bulk SMS to the SMSC through your application. So. Uh, <clears throat> So this is the need of, uh, this is where SMPP is required. So it's a protocol. I will be giving description of uh, this protocol in details in next few videos. So today I am going to give an overview of this. So uh, the requirement of SMPP is, to, is for delivering SMS. Now as an end user, uh, we have to know only the SMPP protocol. Uh, so we don't have to bother about this part of the application, uh, this part of the SMSC. So uh, we just communicate with the SMPP server and SMPP server will uh, communicate with the SMSC and SMSC will deliver this uh, message to the uh, end mobile number. So how this part works is not much uh, not much required to know for an end user but i will be giving a description of all this uh, all this how it works over gsm how the sms is delivered how the hlr or vlr works and how uh, gsm messages are exchanged to deliver an sms to the end mobile number so all these details i will be uh, giving and i will upload videos related to this uh, so before that uh, i am just uh, uh, showing you uh, so here is my channel uh, so related videos I will be uploading here in SS7 uh, SS7 related stuffs uh, so here I will be uploading those videos uh, like SSC, CP, TCAP, MAP, all these are required for uh, delivering SMS uh, or developing an SMSC application SMSC server so uh, keep uh, subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates so here i am just giving a brief in uh, brief description so So here you see that uh, uh, this part of the application runs over SMPP protocol. So 
here the these all three servers like SMTP server, SMS gateway, and SMSC. You can combine them as an SMSC uh, SMSC server. So while communicating, you will just bother about SMTP uh, SMTP uh, protocol. So you if you know the SMTP protocol, the rest of the things are transparent to the application. <coughs> application developer so uh, so this part i am just giving a small description <coughs> so here uh, the description uh, for uh, delivering from smsc point of view it's like an m3 ua uh, connection over the uh, ss7 so it's like SCCP, TK map. So these protocols are required uh, for delivering an SMS or uh, communicating with the VLR or HLR. So this uh, protocol description I will be giving in uh, next few videos and I will be uploading those videos as I shown. So here <coughs> SMPP is basically an ESME. ESME is basically an external short message entity which which uh, which actually register with the SMSC that is an SMPP client register with the SMPP server and uh, it sends message to the short message entity that is the mobile number so this is the protocol overview of SMPP so here I am giving a short <coughs> flow of SMPP. So here as you see ESME is the application that uh, external developers uh, who wants to send bulk SMSs they will uh, they will uh, develop this uh, SMPP client and there will be an SMPP server running on the SMSC so uh, that ESME will uh, the protocol of SMPP is it will send a submit SMS to the uh, to the application to the uh, server SMPP server then SMPP server will respond back with a submit SM response so before submit SM response that SMPP server will communicate with the HLR with the SRI SM so this SRI SM is nothing but a GSM map message so that map message is <coughs> here I shown you so this part I will be describing later, but uh, we don't have to bother much about this part. So uh, that map message uh, SMSC will take care of this. So so it will communicate with the HLR of that mobile number. Then it will get the details of that phone. Then that uh, mobile SMSC or SMS gateway will send it to the MSC through that MSC. It will go to MS. So <coughs> but the thing that we need to know here is the submit SM and submit SM response. So these uh, messages, protocol messages, I will be giving an in-depth description of all these messages. So here you just have to know that you will run an application, ESME client. That client will uh, register with the SMSC uh, SMPP server then submit SM, submit SM response and in submit SM you can uh, define whether you need the uh, delivery report or not. If you uh, mention delivery report is required, that case uh, once the message will get delivered to the uh, mobile, uh, mobile number, you will get a deliver SM response, deliver SM message with the uh, with the details that the uh, SMS is delivered to the uh, mobile number. So you have to respond with deliver SM response. So this is a basic flow of SMPP uh, to send an SMS. So this submit SM you can do over and over and over again within a single ESME connection and you can send bulk SMSs uh, with this connection. So here uh, here is a simple description, simple flow, how this works. 
so basically an SMPP client it's first bind with the SMPP server then SMPP server if it is a bind successful uh, then it responds with binds response 200 okay then uh, ESME can send the submit SM repeatedly and get the SM response and once this uh, this uh, is completed it can send an unbind request and it can disconnect with the SMPP server so here unbind response will come and it will unbind and connection will get closed so this is the basic flow so as a uh, if you are a <coughs> SMS service provider uh, so uh, you can open various kind of uh, various kind of channels to your partners like you can open an SMPP <coughs> SMPP client or you can as open an HTTP connection over HTTP your clients can send you the SMS uh, SMS data SMS mobile number all this and you can convert those to ESME and over SMPP you will connect with the SMS server to send the messages so this is uh, the overview of SMPP connection how SMPP works so in next few videos I will be giving detailed description of submit SM uh, all these messages whatever it how it works how to <clears throat> get how to set the delivery report how to ask for the delivery report how to send messages uh, messages over uh, how to send uh, Mandarian messages special characters in messages so these are all uh, special uh, special kind of uh, uh, settings are there in uh, the submit sm protocol uh, submit as a message so i will be showing in depth all these details in next few videos uh, so guys uh, please keep subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates thanks for watching